New now at 11, one couple from Coleman is working to fight for uh, fight cancer for others. They're working with the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network by advocating for funding and research. But the mission is actually how they met. Your reporter Jillian Brooks joins us in studio to share Emily and Davis Abney's story and how their passion for change has shaped their relationship. Jillian. Claire, unfortunately, most of us know somebody who has had cancer and been impacted in some way by the disease, but that's actually how David and Emily Abney met. But they took their grief and turned it into something beautiful, a marriage, a child, and a desire to eradicate cancer. This love story begins while Emily was in college. A little unsure of what she wanted to do with her future, a close friend of hers was diagnosed with brain cancer. She was like, you know, it's too late for me. I know it's too late for me when she was diagnosed, um, but maybe it won't be too late for someone else. So if we talk about it, right? And I didn't expect that when I talked about it, I would talk about it and talk about it and talk about it and end up in this position. Like Emily then got involved with the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network. Meanwhile, David's dad was staying at the Birmingham Hope Lodge. My dad actually was diagnosed with spacious carcinoma and he was at the Hope Lodge seeking treatment for his cancer. So at an event one night, they met and would eventually get married. We knew of each other, but we didn't like know each other. Like we had some mutuals and stuff. And then, yeah, it just kind of happened. And then we got together like a month later and <laughs> never looked back. Five years later, Emily, David, and their 17 month old Delta are extremely involved with the Cancer Action Network, a partnership strengthened by their similar stories. Him understanding like my passion for the issue and then him also having the same passion because of his dad really like, is a bond that you only have if you've been through something like that. Next week, they'll be in D.C. with 500 other advocates to talk with legislators about funding for various organizations and early detection, hoping to make a change in the future of cancer diagnoses. I hope we live where we can get results faster rather than like being reactive to, well, you have this, now let's try to fix it. And for the Abneys, they hope to not only see their family grow, but that passion they have for change to grow with them. I think it's important for her and for any future children we have to like see us doing this work. Now the Abneys say when they brought Delta with them to DC last year, they got some questions like, are you really going to bring your four month old through the Capitol? But Delta ended up being a huge hit among the group. Mickey.